The VNAV feature, or vertical navigation, on the GTN 750 is extremely helpful, but it can be a little complex. This video will walk you through every step you need to take to configure VNAV on the GTN 750. So you can see that I've got the Garmin GTN 750 pulled up on my iPad mini here, so let's set this up like we were going to fly to Jefferson City. Now, every good VNAV begins with a good flight plan, so we will start there. You can see that we are at the Bolivar Municipal Airport, so we'll keep it there as our starting point, and we want to go to Jeff, which is going to be K-J-E-F. Now, when I navigate to an airport and I want to use VNAV, I like to add in a long track waypoint of minus three miles to get me at pattern altitude three miles away from the airport. Now, I don't know what pattern altitude is, so I'll go to the waypoint info screen to see that the elevation is 549 feet, and then we'll go ahead and enter a pattern altitude of 1600 feet into this altitude constraint. Now we can also enter our field elevation at 549 feet and save that there. This will have the GPS automatically navigate you down to the elevation of the airfield. However, typically once you reach about the uh, three mile point, you'll want to take over and fly either based off of the altitude that ATC assigns you or anything like that. But for the sake of this video, I'll go ahead and just add it as the field elevation. So we can go back to our map and preview this flight plan and you can see that it takes us to Jeff City and that we now have a waypoint that's three nautical miles away from the airport. So now that we are in cruise and we're navigating via our flight plan, you can see we're at 4,500 feet, cruising at 130 knots, we need to configure our VNAV. So if we go to the menu, select utilities and hit VNAV, then it'll take you to your VNAV setup screen. To activate VNAV, just hit the VNAV enabled button and you'll see that these fields are now editable. It defaults to a three degree flight path angle, however I'd like to descend as a function of airspeed most of the time. So say for a nice cruise descent, I'll put in a 500 foot per minute vertical speed target. You can see that it changed our flight path angle to now 2.18 degrees from 3 and it shows that our top of descent is now 28 minutes away. So now we can go back to our map in view that we have a top of descent waypoint here as well so that when we cross that TOD waypoint we'll need to begin our descent. This indicates that it'll put us at 1600 feet three nautical miles away from Jefferson City. For the sake of this video I'm going to go ahead and speed things up so we don't have to wait here for 28 minutes so I will see you back when we're one minute away from our top of descent. Vertical track. So you can see we are now one minute away from top of descent. We got our audible vertical track notification and it says TOD in one minute. Now our vertical speed required in our vertical deviation fields populate, showing that if we started our descent now, we would need a minus 450 foot per minute descent and we are 330 feet deviation from our initial VNAV profile. So you come at the map, you can see that we are almost to our TOD waypoint. At this point in time, now you would select VNAV on your coupled GPS, or you would go ahead and start pitching and adjusting your power for a 500 foot per minute descent. Now that we have crossed our top of descent, you can see that our GPS altitude begins to start descending. And when we go back to VNAV, you can see that our vertical speed target is 500 foot per minute. Vertical speed required 500 foot per minute and our deviation is only 10 feet, so we're pretty close on track. If you have this coupled with autopilot, it'll automatically make adjustments to keep you on your VNAV track. However, if you're hand flying this, the vertical deviation field is pretty handy for knowing if you are above or below where the GPS wants you to be. So you can see our altitude is still descending and then I'll go ahead and speed things up and we will come back once we hit bottom of descent. 500. So we've crossed our bottom of descent. You can see that we're now below a thousand feet and we're approaching the runway. At this point in time, now you would be taking over hand flying however tower wanted you to fly it. But since we've got it programmed in the pattern field, it's just going to fly us straight to the ground right now. So now that we're safe on the ground in Jefferson City, I'll go ahead and close this video out. I hope it was helpful and that you can utilize the VNAV program in your GTN 750 for future cross-country flights. I thank you for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next one.